Hello, this is Chef John from FoodWishes.com with garlic steak with garlic. That's right, steak with a double shot of garlic. This is kind of a Father's Day special because, you know, what father doesn't love steak? And what father wouldn't like steak even more with tons of garlic on it? So I have two New York strip steaks I'm working with. You can do this with pretty much any steak. But you know what? It's Father's Day. Treat your dad to some nice steak. Don't buy yours at a supermarket like I did. Look at that. There's no marbling. Nothing says, I don't really love you, Dad, like under-marbled meat. Go to a butcher and get some real steaks. So we're going to put our steaks in a Ziploc bag with lots of black pepper, a little shot of olive oil, something fairly mild, and then lots of garlic. I'm talking like eight cloves of crushed garlic. The amount is up to you. So if your dad likes tons of garlic, put more. I'm gonna give that a nice massage. Make sure it's all evenly coated. You don't want a big clump of garlic on one end and none on the other. So take a couple minutes, give it a good rub down. All right, you wanna just rub it, rub it, rub it, like borderline inappropriate amount of rubbing. So that's all nice and evenly spread. I'm gonna take that, put it in the refrigerator, for about eight hours, all right? Overnight, in a pinch, you could go five or six hours, but overnight's best. While that is marinating, we're gonna make some pan-roasted garlic cloves. Now, I'm gonna do a longer version of this procedure and give more detail, but it's very simple. It's a whole bunch of peeled garlic cloves in a saucepan, covered with olive oil, and cooked on the lowest heat setting you have for about a half hour until they turn golden brown, soft, sweet and delicious okay so roasted garlic is the opposite of fresh garlic it is not harsh it is not hot it is not biting it is very mellow and delicious so that is perfect i'm gonna set that aside now we're on to the steaks all right of course you're gonna fire up your grill get it nice and hot i'm gonna pull that bag out of the refrigerator i'm gonna scrape off most of the surface garlic so I'm going to remove most of the garlic with my tongs. I'm going to re-season, of course. All right, some salt, maybe some more pepper, up to you. Maybe sneak a little cayenne in there. Does dad like cayenne? It's a great sign if your dad likes cayenne. It means you come from good stock. All right, we're heading out to the grill. We're going to grill that, you know, five, six minutes per side. Depends on how you like it. By the way, let dad grill. Don't think you're doing dad a favor because it's Father's Day and you're going to grill for him. He doesn't want you to grill for him. Give him a beer. Give him the tongs, let him grill his own darn steaks. So this is not a grilling demo. Figure it out, grill your steaks. You know, medium rare, medium. You know how I like it, a little pink in the middle. When those are done, take them off and let them rest. I'm sure your father taught you growing up, you gotta let your meat rest. Do not cut into meat fresh off the grill. All the juices will run out. You don't want that, especially on Father's Day. All right, to finish, we are gonna take a spoon of balsamic vinegar and just spread it over the top. Why? Because the garlic is soft and sweet and rich, and it's in that olive oil, so we need something to kind of balance this out. If you're starting a band, you don't like go all guitars. You gotta have a little bass and some drums, and you know what, that's not a good analogy, but you know what I'm saying. Last step, I'm gonna take those soft, sweet garlic cloves, and those are just room temperature. They just were sitting in that pan of oil. I'm gonna put those on the top. How many? I did three, depends on how garlicky you want it. You could put anywhere between one and 30. And of course, we're gonna give it a few drops of that amazing roast garlic oil. And then you know what's coming next. We're gonna cut into it and eat it. Which by the way, I'm blocking the shot. So I switched to this angle. And then, yes, I was still kind of blocking the shot. And then finally, I got the angle right. And there's your beautiful pink grilled to perfection piece of meat marinated in garlic, covered in garlic, unbelievable. Your father is going to be so proud of you if you make this. And of course by proud, I mean slightly less disappointed, which is all any of us can hope for. Okay, so happy Father's Day to all you dads out there. I hope you give this a try. All the ingredients are on foodwishes.com as usual. And as always, enjoy. Enjoy.